This is the, the 10th anniversary of the establishment of the, uh, of the Northern Medical Programme and, and the first students arriving. And it's a good time to look back and see what we've achieved together. We've created a, a world-class programme in world-class facilities in Prince George. Uh, we've also been able to take residency and undergraduate training into smaller communities like Terrace and Fort St John and we use family physicians offices right throughout Northern BC. I, I never really wanted to be a doctor in a big city. I think the opportunity to study this close to home and in, in an environment um, similar to what I'm used to and to what I want to end up practicing in is kind of what what made me want to do it. I grew up in Vancouver. I honestly didn't think about rural practice um, when I entered medical school. And as I started to hear about stuff, I started to hear about the different opportunities that you have, as a, particularly as a family physician. And, and they have these amazing opportunities where you can go out and spend your, your year in, in a small town and see what it's like. And after this year, I can confidently say that I'd like to be in a small town, definitely. It's been really important to have the Northern Medical Programs Trust that's been enabling in terms of helping students and not just medical students but students from other health professions to go out into rural communities. Moving my things from Williams Lake is a pretty pretty significant expense. What I've mostly used it for is transportation and uh, that's been that's been really important for me. I've been going back and forth from Prince George and here visiting friends and and family there and and if I didn't have that extra money, that wouldn't have been possible. And the relationships I have there wouldn't have been able to, to be as strong. For many of us, we're going to rural and remote communities to uh, complete our practicums as uh, student nurse practitioners. And to be able to uh, go away to these remote communities, it, we, our families and um, ourselves, we incur costs with travel, with accommodation. The trust helps me to be able to travel out of my own home community and experience a new community, its culture, its patients, its other healthcare providers to learn from them and not having such a strong worry about the finances and you know now that I'm not working and contributing to my family's finances be able to take that stress away. I'd like to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart. I'm very grateful and very appreciative. It's quite uplifting to know that I have the support as I pursue my studies to become a nurse practitioner. Thank you. Has, has it made any difference? Have we seen our students graduating, becoming residents in rural areas, and have we seen them coming back into the rural areas of British Columbia? The answer is yes. Uh, we've been very careful to work with communities to choose students with that rural affinity. I wanted to be a doctor since I was four. My younger brother was sick, and I was pretending to make him better. And I said, I think I'm going to be a nurse. And mom said, well, why would, why not be a doctor? And I said, sure, that's, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'll be a doctor.